Hey, it's Ben, and in this video, I'm getting my first soft top longboard ever. Let's do it. I'm here at Rider Shack in Los Angeles, California, and I'm about to pick up my first ever soft top, the eight foot wave bandit Easy Rider. There it is, dude. Of course I gotta get the black one, right? Yeah, this thing is big. <laughs> it does look like a lot of fun. We got the board. We got some roof racks, which uh, I don't normally use. And we've got soft top wax which i had never knew existed before so thank you very much rider shack for the help and advice let's go uh bandit some waves dude <laughs> first subjective is going to be seeing if i can get this in my car because i don't want to strap it down right now i just want to try to throw it in so here we go all right i got this board because i'm interested in longer boards right now and i've never actually ridden a soft top like this this is eight feet long and has 86 liters of volume it comes with a thruster setup, but I'm really interested in trying it as a single fin. More to come on that later. It's pretty dope. They just had a lost board delivery, but uh, I am stoked that this fits in my Mazda 3 hatchback. Now, of course, you know, if I have a passenger or other things in here, that's not gonna work, but it's nice to know if I wanna just throw it in the car real quick on a solo mission, it's it's totally gonna, it's, it's gonna work. So I am very excited, guys. Ah! All right, so I'm trying to wax this like I would wax my regular boards, but I'm realizing the wax isn't connecting with the board the same way, so I don't think I'm gonna get those bumps I usually get. I think it's kind of like just get it on there and make sure it's grippy enough. I don't know. It's cool seeing the wax go on a darker board though. First big test was seeing how it would fit on my bike, and I'm stoked to say it fits pretty well. It's definitely the biggest thing I've had on this bike. So turning is a little slower and I just gotta be a little more careful of what's around me, but so far so good. That is a great sign because this is my favorite thing to do, is to ride to the beach with my board and keep it real simple. I think a good thing about having a board this big on the bike is now people can see me coming a mile away. Oh, maybe not, maybe not this guy. <laughs> it is windy, it's a little blown out. There is a high tide, a very high tide. This is a day I would not be normally surfing. So with this board, I'm hoping that I can get more days out in the water because this should be able to handle anything we throw at it, right? We're gonna find out. I don't think I've been this excited to try a board out. I think it's gonna be fun because, I mean, there's nothing out there, but if this thing allows you to get on some waves that I wouldn't normally catch, that's what this is all about. So let's do this. talk about paddling out for a second. I didn't even get my hair wet. <laughs> Dude, this thing is so fast. A decent sized set came through. I'd say maybe it was like a three footer. I didn't think I was gonna make it, but a couple paddles whoop, right over the top. It feels super stable. This is gonna be a great test because there's actually a couple sets rolling through, but it's nice and fat because it's a high tide. Another thing I gotta be, I, I gotta change my thinking on what waves I'm approaching or what waves look like they might be catchable. Cause right now I feel like 
I don't know. I guess I'm kind of waiting for one of those bigger sets to come through because that, that looked fun. To be on this thing cruising down, woo! But man, like super stoked, look at this. I might go the whole session without getting my hair wet. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can catch a wave now, huh? No way. So that first wave, oh wait, hang on, hang on. This thing is like riding a kayak or something. Your first thoughts right off the bat. Oh shit, here comes another one. Damn it. See, normally I would have taken off on that, but because this thing is so big, it's hard to turn and maneuver quickly, like how I would, how I would normally turn and burn it. So you gotta set it up a lot earlier, which I think will be good practice. <laughs> Dude, this is almost like cheating. That last one I decided I would turn and burn it. I mean, I don't, don't, even, don't even have to paddle to get into these waves. Unbelievable, man. Let's talk about conditions for a second. The wind is tapering off, but this is handling the chop extremely well. The tide is rising, so it's going to be a high tide, like six foot king tide. So can ride this thing all the way in. That's kind of why I got near those rocks, I think, for a little bit, because normally I wouldn't even be close to it, but this thing just, there's so much speed. I, it's hard to tell how much ground I'm covering. Okay, here comes the set. Oh, shit. See? One problem I'm having immediately is like normally on a shorter board, even my mid length, I can turn and burn and get going really quickly and, and kind of make a late decision. You saw on that, I think the wave before last, I tried to turn it around, but it just wasn't moving. So I'm gonna have to get better at positioning myself on this, this, this big sucker. But man, just cruising down. Some of these waves are, yeah, three foot, maybe even a little, Higher, the swell is rolling in right now. The next few days, we're getting some swell. So I hope the video does it justice, but just, it's like riding a magic carpet ride, man. Beautiful. Okay, that one, I felt better about leaning back and turning it earlier, but definitely, Taking me a minute to figure out where to be on the board when I'm paddling.
crazy. I'm totally being a wave bandit right now. Just like any wave you want, you can catch with this thing, I feel like. The little ones are actually harder than I thought. Luckily, there's a little bit of bump right now, which I think is helping me. Because the little ones, I'm trying to paddle like I normally do. I just feel like, I don't know. Anyway, this might be one right here. What I'm really interested in, and a huge reason I got this board, is to set it up as a single fin. Now, it doesn't come stock that way, but there's a couple fins you can get. South Bay Board Company, I just received that one. Uh, and then there's the Perfect Storm fin, which is the pink one. That was super fun. The glide, the speed, starting to figure it out. That last one was awesome. Oh, here comes a big set. <laughs> I'm just getting these long ass rides, man. All right, I'm gonna be headed in soon, but I hope you enjoyed watching this as much as I enjoyed making this video. This is my first soft top, my first time being on an eight foot soft top like this. I learned so much um, and there's so much more to learn. I can't wait to explore this board more, explore the length of board more, explore different fin setups. There's a lot more to come. So if you haven't already, please subscribe, stay safe, stay tuned, and thanks for watching.